Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I am going to measure the static torque curve using a new method. In the previous video, we measured the static torque by applying DC currents to the stator winding out the servo motor and rotating of the stepper motor. Actually, in the previous test, the stator field was stationary and we rotated the rotor field. But in this experiment, I am going to lock the rotor core of the servo motor and generate a rotating stator field. So here we are going to measure the static torque curve using a different method. So here you can see the servo motor, the benchmark servo motor that we use in permanent magnet motors drive and control course. Here we have a stepper motor, a big stepper motor. As you know, the rated torque of the servo motor is 1.2 and the rated torque of the stepper motor, the holding torque is 30 Newton meter. Here I have a three-phase inverter to generate a rotating field in servo motor actually the frequency of the rotation of the stator field is slow i will consider 0.1 hertz for frequency of the stator current so we are going to rotate a stator field slowly and measure the developed torque here i have two current clamps to plot the waveform of currents on oscilloscope, we need to measure the peak to peak value of the phase current. And here I have this power supply to fed the DC link of the three phase inverter. And this power supply is for feeding the gate drivers. So let me explain the procedure of the measurement first so here as you can see we have a servo motor here and this is the torque meter we have a big stepper motor here the rated torque of the stepper motor is 30 newton meter so we have a good holding torque to lock the rotor and the rated torque of the servo motor is 1.2 newton meter so in the previous test this was the stator field for example a stationary stator field by applying dc current to winding of the servo motor and this was the rotor field br we rotated the rotor core using a stepper motor and we measured the static torque curve. In this experiment, I am going to fix the rotor field, the R, lock it using a stepper motor and rotate the stator field, the S. So, the frequency of rotation of a stator field is as low to measure the static torque curve. How we can do that? You know, we have a three phase inverter here. This is a three phase inverter. This is DC link voltage VDC. And we have these terminals, the outputs, 
this is connected to the phase A, phase B, and phase C. We have this star connection. So this is phase A, phase B, and phase C. As you know, the rated value of the phase current of the servo motor, I phase, the RMS value is 2.3. So when we have this RMS value of the current for phase of the servo motor, we should get 1.2 newton meter. What is the peak value corresponding to this current? The peak value of the phase current, the peak value of the phase current is equal 1.41 times 2.3 that is equal to 3.24 amps so this is the peak value of the phase current how we can have this peak value and generate a rotating field you know i am going to use the space vector pulse width modulation method for switching out the inverter to generate a rotating stator field. We discussed during the course how to develop the SBPWM code for the STM32 microcontrollers to perform the switching. The frequency of the current, the stator current, I consider it equal to 0.1 Hz to rotate the stator field very slow and I am considering the value of the MA the amplitude modulation equal to 0.8 okay so a fixed value for the amplitude modulation for inverter. So we have one current clamp here. Current clamp here. This is connected to oscilloscope and we can plot the waveform of the phase current. Yes, because the frequency of the current is very low, it's uh, complex to measure the RMS value of the current using uh, clamp meters, right? So it's better if we use uh, the current prop of oscilloscope and measure the peak-to-peak -peak value of the phase current. We know that the peak-to-peak -peak value, this number, peak-to-peak -peak value that we have here divided by 2 should be equal to this number. Yes, so we turn on the three phase inverter and increase the value of VDC. We start by a low value for VDC and increase it step by step. And we look at this value, peak to peak divided by two, this number. When we have the rated current, we stop and start the torque measurement okay so this is the procedure we have a rotating field the value of amplitude modulation ratio is fixed equal to 0.8 we increase vdc to capture this number the rpm corresponding to this frequency for the stator current is 3 rpm so we set the speed of the rotating field and perform the experiment. The current prop that I have, its output is 100 millivolt per amps. So I should consider this factor in my calculations for plotting this graph. Anyway, let's do the experiment. First, I need to turn on the stepper motor, just power on, right? The inverter of the stepper motor, we 
don't apply any signal for rotation, right? Just we turn on it to have this holding torque, and then we turn on inverter to have a rotating field for the servo motor. So let's turn on the stepper motor first. Let me plug it in. And also let's turn on these current props. Make them zero, right? Zero DC bias. And the value of the DC link voltage corresponding to rated torque and rated current of this servo motor is 37. I did this experiment before and increased the value of the DC link voltage gradually. Consider that this is important because the resistance of this kind of motors is low and you shouldn't apply a high DC link voltage. You can start with a small number. Anyway, so now let's open the torch meter software here we have the graphic user interface of inverter this is the rpm and we can run the simulation let's plot the torque is zero now and run the analysis so as you can see here we have these current graphs the frequency of rotation of the stator field is very low and we have this static torque curve, right? The maximum torque is close to 1.2 newton meter that is the rated torque of the motor. You know, here I can measure the peak to peak value of the current is here I have 660 millivolt. The current is a little bit higher than the rated current. I should reduce the DC link voltage a little bit to have 1.2. Newton meter. Anyway, you can repeat the same experiment. Let me stop recording torque and just record the torque for one electric period. Okay, so you can see the maximum value of the torque 1.2. And we can measure this beautiful graph, the static torque curve. Okay. So anyway, the difference between this method and the previous method is just rotating the stator field instead of rotating all the rotor field. Okay, but everything is similar and you can perform this simulation. Thanks for watching.